the heart of downtown Los Angeles in the Jewelry District on 7th Avenue between Hill and Olive Street, you'll find Rice Bar. Rice Bar only seats 11 people, but it will curb every carb lover's craving for rice. That's right. Here, we're going to get to explore what Rice Bar has. They have over 10 varieties of rice from the islands of the Philippines. Let's check them out. So what we have here is the, one of our heirloom varieties of rice is called Mountain Violet. As you can tell, the, the color of the rice is purple. It has just been cooked with uh, braised shiitake mushrooms, some uh, red pepper paste, and it's what in there is a red cabbage slaw that's been spiced with sriracha and like a 12 hour braised pork um, that's flavored with pork liver, uh, vinegar, sugar. So it's really like a paxi, you know, and then we put fermented black beans in there. That's why you call it pork and beans. So what we have here is a chicken tenola paired off with milagrosa. Um, it's the only one we use the plain rice with. Because um, I, I feel that that plain, sweet, the fragrant, plain flavor of the milagrosa plays off that ginger flavor of the tenola. Um, so it's paired off with papaya, chili leaves, and a little bit of patis vinaigrette. It's as classic as it gets. Um, Growing up, we never ate it in a bowl, but somehow we always pulled the broth in our plate. And here, for convenience, since it has to be fast, we just pour everything in there. It's, it's a ginger-forward flavor of the broth. Um, if you actually dig down to the recipe, it's, it's a superior, they call it a superior stock in Chinese cuisine, where it's ginger-forward, um, just chicken bones, chicken, and water. It's as simple as it is. And said the papaya that's more of regional or household staple some would use chayote some would use zucchinis um, but like I said everything is based on what we have at home yes these are crispy anchovies which is a take on a Filipino breakfast again um, it's actually this dish was derived from a Caesar salad deriving anchovies from um, avocados and lettuce and then when I tasted the black rice, it had a faint sweetness to it that I thought some marinated tomatoes, some green onions, and that saltiness of that fish would go very well with that rice. Um, and of course, the creaminess of the avocado uh, just makes it even more Californian. A lot, of, a lot of the features, a lot of the dishes were created because of the rice. It's, it's a reverse process of writing a menu where the rice is not a filler, but it's the main focus. Um, since I could, the, the rice, it's, it's a little bit sweet, but not as sweet, and everything else just kind of offsets that, that flavor profile. And again, once you eat it, it just brings you back to the Philippines. This is our bistec Tagalog. Um, it is paired off with Cotabato black rice. Uh, what's on top is an allium variation of uh, pickled red onions, fried shallots, and uh, fresh chives. Um, it is dressed with a little bit of calamansi vinaigrette and a little bit of Filipino soy sauce, which is silver swan. And it's one of our favorites in the house, so that's why we have it on the menu. Since a lot of these recipes are custom made for the space, um, a lot of, when we first started, we, we tried it as a steak, and then it was too slow. People were ordering it too fast. So we, tra we changed the, the, the technique, so we braised it instead. Um, but a bistec is traditionally braised anyways. Um, so that's what we did. We just chose a very tender piece of meat and braised it properly so it's fork tender and a lot of people enjoy it. Yes, pancit luglog. It's luglog because in Pampanga that's what we call it. Um, it's again, it's one of those very regional dishes. People get very emotional about it. It's like, why do you call it this way? Why do you call it like that? But it, it's look look because you dump it in, like you, you blanch that noodles in hot water. And you put the caldo, which is the shrimp sauce, and then you put all the toppings on top. Um, I want to do this dish in this restaurant because I never ate this hot in the Philippines. It was always in the bilao, and whoever came to the party, whoever was there first, 
was it be the only one to eat it hot. Um, so here in the restaurant, we of course make it to order, um, and they mix it themselves. Um, so it's almost like a, a Filipino carbonara slash bolognese, but with shrimps instead of meat. And here it is with all the fixings. You have the tinapa there, the chicharron, the boiled egg, the chives, the green onions, and of course the poached shrimps. Here at Rice Bar, we've got everything that your heart will really love. Look at that. That's the crispy dilis. We have the tinola. We have the pork and beans special. We have the bistec tagalog. And we have the pancit luglog. So what are you waiting for? Get your friends together and come to the rice bar. It's here in downtown Los Angeles in the heart of the Jewelry District. I'm Jitanji signing off for Kapabayan Today on LA18.